Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's doing well, everyone's safe and healthy. Um, I just wanted to come on here today and just do another unboxing. Um, excuse my dog in the back, he is barking at the neighbors for some reason. And my parents are yelling at him. <laughs> so, anyways, so today I have an unboxing. It's a fashion file unboxing. Um, this is my second fashion file purchase of this year. I haven't purchased from them in a while, but a couple weeks ago I did purchase some stuff, but I, I ended up returning it and I didn't feel like unboxing it because I was kind of like iffy about them. And when I got them, I was like, yeah, I don't want to keep them. So I ended up returning it. But today, um, I purchased some new items from them on... Friday? So yesterday? Yeah, I purchased from them either Friday or Thursday night. Oh, Thursday night I purchased it and Friday they shipped it out. So I got it like within a day because I live um, pretty close to one of their um, headquarters. So if you guys don't know what Fashion File is, it's basically this big online consignment store and it has a lot of selection, has a lot of variety. Um, a lot of people in the luxury community always like talk about fashion file or the real real rebag things like that poshmark even things like that and i usually love buying from fashion file i'm not big on selling to them because i feel like selling to them i don't really get a good quote so that's just my personal experience with them but i still like buying from them because they have a really big selection and they have really good quality items and they have really good photos and their shipping is on point because it's really fast and it's always signature shipping obviously because it's a very expensive thing. So just a little disclaimer, I know with the whole economic and national world global kind of thing, it's this video is not really to boast, it's just taking a break from, I don't know, all the chaos of the world and this pandemic we're going through and it just, kind of puts me down especially since I am in the healthcare sector and I just get inundated with a lot of info and a lot of stress and you know frustration at the same time so I turn to luxury and I like doing unboxings for you guys so anyways you'll hear my door creaking in the back if you guys can hear my door it's very windy here so and I know I'm doing this later at night too so the lighting may not be the best but yeah let's get to it so here, I got two boxes. Well, I bought three items and they shipped it out in two separate boxes and obviously I took off the shipping tape so my address and stuff's not on it, but, oops. So I'll do a little ASMR with this box opening. I love their packaging. Their boxes are so cute because it's just like when you open it, it's like this cute little gift. And this like confetti. It used to be strings, I remember. I've been buying from Fashion File for um, about a year and a half. Ever since I got into luxury, I, my very first items that I bought um, for my um, bag collection were from Fashion File. So, oh, that's just the receipt. So the receipt comes in this kind of like packet with their oh, logo and a thank you card. Sorry, I'm trying to get this in frame. I'm trying to get used to this tripod. And I always get a ton of these nail files. I think they're so cute, fashion file nail files. It always says, I like my money where I can see it hanging in my closet, which is kind of cute, but personally I don't identify with that. Cause I kind of like my money in my bank, but that's just me. And they always have it wrapped so nicely. So this one says, used is, used is the new new. And this is the first item. Let me open the box for the other item. So that's the first item. Put that away. Let me open the second box. Usually when I get luxury deliveries, I try to be really careful with this box cutter because you don't want to cut too deep and you accidentally cut the paper and some, oh. All that confetti came out. Oh, there we go. And the box 
look similar to the mini one. Another thank you card. The receipt with a bunch of confetti stuck in between. Ugh. Get that all out. So these two. So let's open up this little one first. Baton shopping, and I got. I just think that's so cute. Like you get two dust bags on top of the dust bag that already. Well, if the item comes with a dust bag, you get the dust bag with it too. But they always give you a cute other dust bag, which is great for travel, in my opinion. So this is the first item. Oh. It's the Victorine wallet. I don't know if you guys can see that. A little too dark. And Dommy Ben with the red interior. And I and it's made in France. So I know it's really hard in the US to get made in France items or European made um, Louis Vuitton items just because they're all manufactured most of them are manufactured in factories here in the US. Which, you know, it's not too bad. But I don't know. In my personal opinion, I don't really care where it's manufactured. I would prefer who is manufactured in Europe, but if it's not, then it doesn't. It's okay. It's all the same kind of item. So I'm pretty sure everyone's kind of seen what the Victorine look, wallet looks like. Sorry for the lighting. Oh, and it's they always have the remove the tag, own the bag kind of thing on here. And I noticed that they've gotten a little bit smarter with these um, tag things because it used to be like plastic and I remember some people I've been on like forums and stuff and if they would cut the tag off the plastic and just buy more plastic tags from like Amazon and just re-put them on I was like oh smart but that's not very honest I guess so that's what it looks like on the inside six card slots here six card slots there and then the Louis Vuitton Paris made in France, the red button, the bill slot there, and my favorite part of Louis Vuitton products, the zipper. Ooh, so smooth. I always check if there's anything in here just in case. Nothing in there. So yeah, I've always actually wanted the Victorine. I just never pulled the trigger on it. So we'll see. I might, I kind of saw this and I was like, yeah, I'll see what it looks like in person. It's a little like crooked though. Is that just, is that me? Felt lies a little crooked. I don't know if I like that. Hmm. Glazing's okay. But yeah, All right. Too much time on that item. Next item. items, you guessed it, are bags. The first item being sitting a little crooked. Favorite MM. I've been looking high and low for this bag. And I think this one also is made in France too. So here's the. You can see that. Dami Van with the classic red interior. I love Dami Van with the red. I just think. So chic, and I just love red interiors. Let's see. Oh, it's a little dark, but oh wow, this one actually was in France too. Wow, I got lucky. 
And also another popular bag, so you guys kind of know what that looks like too. This is the MM size, so it's a little bit bigger than the PM size. Um, it actually looks smaller than I thought. Here's the, with the, it came with the strap too. So. Does it have plastic on it? No. It said it had, oh, plastic on the inside. It has a little bit of scratches on there. I don't think you can see that, but. Sorry to be so in your face, but. Louis Vuitton Paris. So that's that bag. And it came with a dust bag as well. Let's see if this is the right. Okay, yeah, dust bag. So next. The final item was actually one of the ones that I really was trying to look for. I'm looking at high and low for this bag. And this bag is one of the more popular ones, at least this color combo. And I lucked out and I missed out on it, and now it's discontinued, so. Um, went on Fashion Files, saw it, saw it for a pretty good price. And I was like, eh, what the heck, let's just order it, see if see if I like it. If I don't like it, I can always return it. So, oh, that was a really bad unveiling, but here it is. Ta-da! It is the Palace Clutch in the monogram with the black leather um, accents and the treated or the darker brown um, straps. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry if it's blurry. This one has the tag. This one is, let's see, made in Spain. Oh, oh, okay. You like tied, hmm. They tied the gold chain to this. I could have just used a plastic zip tie or something. Now it's all tangled. Now it's just, yeah, there you go. So here's the gold. So it's supposed to clip on like this on this side. If I can, sorry, my hands are a little shaky. You can wear it on your shoulder, your wrist. Ooh, it's really cute. It's actually roomier than I thought. It's a lot smaller in size compared to the MM, I think. Let's see, let's compare it. If I can. I'll do it this way. Sorry. Now I feel like I'm apologizing, apologizing a lot. So that's the MM, and this is the Palace Clutch. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll turn it around. Oh, I think this way is better. There. There you go. So it's a good two and a half inches, maybe three inches small. But yeah. So these are the items that I bought. Three from Fashion File. I'm actually really excited and I'll look at them in better lighting, see what I will keep and what I won't keep. And the good thing about Fashion Files is their return policy is like great. You have 30 days as long as you don't cut the tag off. They pay for shipping. So yeah. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.